Ladies and gents, today we are ranking the top proprietary trading firm in New York City. Of course, some of them are not going to be just in New York, but you get the point. We're talking about the real type of prop firm, not your online futures prop firm that never end up paying you. So as usual, before you end the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. So the best way I thought about ranking this firm was using a tier list. S is going to be the best and D is going to be the worst. Keep in mind, these are all very good and very legit firm. Just some of them are going to be better. And to judge them, we're going to be talking about how easy it is to get in, the type of technology that they have, type of deal, and also their reputation and style of trading. The first prop firm we're going to be going over is going to be Great Point Capital. So this firm is located in Chicago, but they also have an office in Texas. I know I said it's going to be New York, but this is good enough to be considered a New York prop firm. So for this one, it's going to be ranked in that list. For this firm to get in, you're going to need your SIE and also your 57. The SIE, you can do it on your own. The 57 is only going to be when you get hired, they're going to send you to do this exam with FINRA. And then when you pass, you can start trading. The type of deal that you can expect for this firm is either a back deal or you bring your own capital. Either or, you're still going to need to be a good trader. Some really good traders prefer to bring their own capital and use technology and also leverage from the firm instead of putting a lot of money in a broker. But you still need to be a really good trader even to be accepted to just bring your own capital. When you have a bad deal, you're going to start with lower type of risk. And this is going to be better sometimes for the newer trader that don't have a lot of capital, but they're still trading well on their own. Just looking to get a firm for the extra leverage and buying power. So is it hard to get in, in this firm? I would rank it as a B because any prop firm is going to be pretty hard, but it is not impossible and you don't need to be just out of college. You just need to have some skills. And if you have that, maybe you get a chance if you had the right time at the right spot. When it comes to their technology, they're going to be using Tachyon, which is a really, really good trading platform. Much better than your Dash Trader and your Sterling Trader. I would consider it as the best one that is not proprietary or not exclusive to the firm. Some other broker dealers and other firm also offer that platform, but it is extremely customizable. So it is pretty good in terms of technology, but it's not their own. So that means it's not as good as somebody that's building their own tech and putting all the money into the infrastructure of the firm. When it comes to the reputation of that firm, it is pretty good. The only thing I can say or that I heard from a couple of traders that traded there, what they trade mainly is going to be the mid cap to large cap. They also trade small cap, but I heard something about sometimes you can trade really, really cheap stock. You don't have access to less than like a dollar or two dollars. So they're not focused primarily on small cap. So if it's your main strategy, this might not be the right fit. But overall, I'm pretty sure they're open minded to anybody that makes money and they're going to make you a deal. So all that being said, we're going to be ranking this firm in the B category as legit, but it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's, it's just pretty good and if you end up trading there you shouldn't be shy about it so the next one that we have is going to be t3 trading so this is a firm that's more of a walmart of proprietary trading it's still good to be ranking that list and if you have access to them or you can use them for some reason that's beneficial to you there's nothing wrong with that but when we're looking at the realm of prop firm that we have today that we're going to be talking about it's going to be ranked pretty low the reason why is that they don't even offer a back deal to any trader. It's only capital contribution. The commissions are honestly pretty high. You're not going to get some like crazy advantage of going to them and bringing your own capital. And you still need to do your SIE and 57 that we talked about in the first prop firm. Additionally, they don't offer really, really great technology. Like you're going to be only using Sterling, DAS or Lightspeed as their technology, which is nothing crazy and in nothing really proprietary. And when it comes to buying power, you're going to get 20 to 1 in terms of leverage. So you do the math. It's still pretty good for somebody with a small account. And if you're international, the smallest account that you can have with them is going to be 50 grand, which is really high for this type of prop firm. Normally, they're going to keep it at PDT, so 25K, which makes a lot more sense and can attract at least a decent pool of trader because some of these traders have accounts at different places. And 50 grand, it's a pretty big number for most guys. If you're not already super experienced, 
And if you're super experienced, you have better option than going there. So now when it comes to getting in that firm, this is going to be really easy. Anybody that want to bring their capital there is going to get accepted and they're going to sponsor you for your 57 that we talked about. So it's still legit. It's still a registered broker dealer. But overall, they don't have any filters. They just want to churn you. So that means you go there, you're going to turn your commissions. They're going to be happy with that. And they don't really care if you make money or lose money. That's just not of their business. And that's not in their business model either. When it comes to their reputation, they don't have a good reputation for the reason I just talked about because they just churn trader. They don't offer really good, good deals. It's most likely trader that don't have any better option that go there. But it still could be good in some cases that you need buying power and so on and so forth. But it's not a firm I would personally recommend to anyone. When it comes to ranking them, for that reason, I have to rank them at a C over here. Because it's still legit, it's still somewhere you can trust your money. But overall, it's definitely not as good as something as Great Point and other that we have on that list. So the next firm we have is going to be Chimera Securities. So this is a New York firm. And this one doesn't have a big online presence. They just redid their website for the first time in probably the last 10, 15 years. But it's a really good prop firm. They have a pretty good desk with people that actually show up to the desk over there and they own their own technology. So when it comes to the type of deal, you can expect something similar to Great Point Capital. You can either bring your own capital if you're good enough. You're still going to need a really solid track record for them to even accept your money compared to T3. And also, this is good because if you get accepted for that type of deal, you're going to be able to use their technology, which is proprietary. So they own everything and it's built in house. And the second type of deal is going to be a bag deal. This is going to be for sure for smaller trader when you come on a bag deal or if you've been at an other prop firm that also had bag deal. So when it comes to hiring, they do hire out of college or trader with experience. For a trader with experience, you need to have a significant amount of profit that you made over the years or some really good talent that he can trust to bring you along the firm. And most likely, you're going to need to be in New York City because they want new trader to be on the desk to be paired with some experienced trader to speed up the learning curve. When it comes to their reputation, it has a really good reputation and I would consider it probably a very clean one. I haven't seen anyone that really complain except for maybe people that got fired because they couldn't really make it. And this happened in this world. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a hard game. And when it comes to what they trade, they trade pretty much everything. Some guys are going to be trading small caps. Some guys are going to be trading large cap, breaking news, imbalance, all across the board, pretty much everything you can think. There's some guys that are going to be sometimes automated and so on and so forth. When it comes to ranking that firm, I would rank this firm as an S tiered because they own their own technology. They offer both type of deal and they're registered broker dealers. So you can expect your money to be safe because you have access to kind of their financial if you work there. So you know that they have the capital that they say they have. So it's going to be S tiered. So the next one that we have is going to be First New York. So this one is a bit different because it's more of a quantitative plus discretionary because they have a whole variety of strategy. But when it comes to getting into that firm, it's going to be extremely hard. You're going to have to be very solid when it comes to your math, uh, programming and also trading. So it's a bit more of an hedge fund type than a prop firm, but they still accept some guys that are really just discretionary and that are very talented, which all the firms are going to be accepted. So it is based in New York. And when it comes to the type of deal that you can expect, it's going to be some salary plus also a profit split or a bonus on whatever you make. And also their technology is going to be fully proprietary. So we don't hear anything about it online. They're not going to be allowed to share it or anything like that. So when it comes to ranking first New York, we're going to be ranking them over here as S tiered. It is super legit, super hard to get in, maybe a little harder than the other one. But overall, if you're able to get there, you're going to be probably very happy with your position and all the benefit that you have. So the next one that we have is Integra Capital. So this firm is also registered as a broker dealer, but through T3. So these type of firm are always confusing to me because it's just somebody that's piggybacking somebody else and it's not their own firm. So for this reason, of course, it's going to be ranked lower than somebody that owns everything. So when it comes to the type of deal, because they're related to T3, like very connected, you're going to need to bring your own capital. There's no offer to back you and they're just going to give you leverage. You're also going to need your SIE 57 to get there. 
but when it comes to getting in pretty much anybody can do so so i don't really like this type of firm because it just attracts everybody versus very good people so even if you end up trading there you're not going to be necessarily sitting or learning from people that actually have talent you're only going to be sitting beside someone that had enough capital to fund an account when it comes to their technology it's going to be lightspeed sterling and dash trader just because they use everything that t3 does and it's not going to be their own when it comes to their reputation i haven't heard anything great or bad about them i think it's just an average firm it's sometimes better than if you don't get leverage anywhere else so it's somewhere that maybe there's a type of deal there you knew someone it got you in with a really good deal so you're staying there but overall i think there's better option and for that reason i'm gonna have to put in the d category just because they're part of T3 and they're kind of just using them. It's not really their own firm and so on and so forth. So I don't think it really deserves to be ranked amongst the best. So the next two prop firm that we have is going to be Kirshner Trading Group and also SMB Capital. So these two firms are connected. It is a joint venture. And the reason why they ended up doing this joint venture is that Kirshner Trading Group was really aimed to special situation, inefficiency, and also very complex stuff. And they didn't have a way of building building newer trader or find newer talent and SMB was really good at creating courses and attracting a big pool of newer trader that they would more nurture so even if it is a joint venture both of these firms are very different Kirshner is known as really hard swinger so they swing really hard on trade and they have like very specific edge versus SMB which is more geared at newer trader and after that, some experienced trader or the one that really make it stay there. So you have the shark, the swang and so on and so forth that made like something like in the 10 millions and more in the past 20 and 2021, which is really, really big numbers. So going back to Kirshner Trading Group, the type of deal that you can expect is only going to be back deals. You can't bring your capital over there. It's only if they fund you. Otherwise, you won't be trading there. They also have their own technology, which is really good. And from what I heard, it's probably one of the best one out there, or at least it looks like it because people are really, really happy. When it comes to their routing and their back office, I heard it's been a bit shaky over the past year, but overall it has a pretty good reputation and I'm pretty sure it's going to get sorted out. When it comes to ranking that firm, I would rank it as an A because they have their own technology, but otherwise if they wouldn't have that, I would rank them probably as a B which is what I'm going to do for SMB and I'll tell you why. So SMB is a good firm and they're more geared toward hiring new trader either out of college or just trader that haven't made much PL in their whole career, which has nothing wrong with that because they don't have their own technology and they're using Kirshner. It's good, but it's not their own at 100%. So they can't make sometimes all the decision when it comes to back office routes, what they want to improve on it and so on and so forth. And there's something that I don't personally like about SMB, not the firm, but more their SMB training. They push hard on selling courses. And this is just something I don't really like, or I know trader over there are really getting annoyed by that because this is not fun when the firm exposes your strategy. Or I have to admit that they don't put their whole strategy. They pretty much just put whatever is already going to be attracting to retail trader out there, which is not ideal. But, you know, if you get a chance to trade on that desk, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I would highly recommend it because I'm pretty sure you're going to get access to good information when you're in the firm versus what they project online or on YouTube. And this is why I would rank it as a B over here. So the next one that we have is going to be Avatar Securities. So this firm is located in New York and also in Chicago, and it is super good or super legit, as I would say. The type of deal that you can expect from that firm is going to be either the capital contribution, so that means you bring your own capital over there, or you're going to get a bag deal. So even to bring your own capital, as I mentioned for the other firm, you need to be really good and you need to have a solid track record. But the advantage that you're going to have is going to be super, super low commissions and also high leverage on your account, which could be helpful if you hold a lot of position overnight or if you swing stuff, it's going to help you a lot. When it comes to their technology, you're going to be able to use Lightspeed, Sterling Trader, and also Tachyon, which I think is going to be the best out of the three. When it comes to what you can trade over there, there's going to be options, small cap, breaking news, imbalances. And this firm reputation or what I know about this firm is that it's really more geared towards experienced trader. If you're a complete rookie, you won't necessarily get a lot of 
of help except if you're really there at their New York office or Chicago and you happen to be sitting beside someone that's willing to help you. So this is not geared for a smaller trader, but when it comes to their reputation, their deal and everything, it is really, really good and they have a really solid reputation within the industry and also good connection when it comes to clearing and so on and so forth. So for that reason, I have to put this firm as an A over here. If they would have their own technology, which I think is what they're building at the moment, the last time I spoke to someone over there, I would probably rank them as an S. But for now, because they don't have their own technology, I would really consider them as an A tier. So the next prop firm that we have is going to be Trillium Trading. So this firm is a bit more known to the public because of Lance Breitstein, which has been a big online voice when it comes to trading and just the trading community since he retired from that firm. But this firm specializes more into breaking news and of course anything that has volatility. But when you talk to anybody that trades over there or people that new trader or no trader that currently trade there, they're really, really big on news. And because they're big on news and their priority is to be fast, they also have their own technology. And when it comes to deal, you can't bring your own capital over there. This is only going to be back deal. When they hire this firm hires more towards new grad and people right off the university because they like to build them from scratch versus hiring from the outside of people that do have experience. I'm sure if you have good experience and you've been in the industry and you can really show them that you have a solid track record, they do make exception because everybody likes to make money and if they can make, of course, they're going to take that chance. So going back to the type of deal that you can expect is going to be back deal and you should expect a pretty decent payout. This is going to be case by case. I know I've been talked about the percentage that you get at each firm because it is dependent on when you get hired. You're going to get a specific type of deal really made for you. When it comes to the technology, I heard it's very good and they have a very good reputation for that because of the breaking news that I mentioned. When it comes to ranking them, I would rank them as an S tier because they're really considered a really good prop firm and their structure internally is also made as a hedge fund. So you do not need your SIE or your 57 and that makes it a lot easier for new people to get hired on the desk versus sending everyone for an exam that sometimes takes one month to three months just to complete after you've been hired and you can even trade during that time. So they avoid that by using a hedge fund structure, which is really good. The next one that we have is going to be Seven Points Capital. So they're a bit more known online because some of their traders are actually posting on Twitter and they're being a bit more public than the other firm that is really scrutinized to actually post online or just say that you trade at a certain firm. So going back to Seven Points Capital and the type of deal that you can expect it's going to be only back deal. So you can't bring your own capital over there. They're only going to look for a newer trader that wants to go there, start with a smaller lockout, and then just grow from there. So it has a pretty good reputation. The only thing that's not great about them is their technology because you can only use Sterling or Dash Trader. But when it comes to locate and also fee, it's going to be extremely low. They don't charge commission over there to any of their trader, which all of the other firms do but in exchange you're going to get a smaller payout so this could be good for some people but some other people that don't trade a lot of shares or have more of a swing hard mentality that take less trade it could not be as beneficial for them versus the scalper but their goal of course is to build profitable trader because they do not accept other traders capital and they don't make money of the commissions so it is a pretty good firm has a pretty good reputation but not as good a reputation of something of a chimera a trillium or something like that so when it comes to what they trade they're really geared towards small cap and kind of retail strategy versus breaking news imbalances more algo stuff this one is really geared towards the shorting or even going long small cap momentum this is the bread and butter and this is why the low commission or no commission is good because when you trade small cap you trade a lot of shares so for that reason all that being said i think it's a pretty good firm and i'm going to be ranking it over here as a b with great point smb and seven points also for this firm you also need your sie and 57 which is annoying, but they're legit. So this is what you have to do if you want to trade there. So the last one that we have is going to be Mavic Trading. So this one is still legit, but it's definitely a Walmart. As soon as the first thing when you go on a website is going to be apply now, 
you know that there's an issue because most of these firms are not going to be about that. They have like a big pool of trader that already wants to trade there. So they don't need to have a big call to action that just says apply. We want your money. So this firm, I don't think it's super good. It's definitely considered into the Walmart and it's going to be piggyback on some other broker and you're gonna have to bring your own capital or pass some tests to try to get in. When it comes to technology, I don't even know what they use, but I would be surprised that they use anything good because I haven't even been able to find this information on their website. And I personally don't know anybody that trades there and is the only firm I actually don't know anyone at which is probably a big tell. For that reason, this firm, I have to rank it as a D over here. 